Hello everybody, Mater here. I know I ain't been doing any videos lately. I just haven't felt like getting out and doing anything because I'm still under quarantine. Um, I got my test result late last week. And I'm still showing I'm still positive for this damn uh, Kung Flu that's going around. So I've got another appointment tomorrow, uh, 9.30 in the morning to go and get that done. Um, been cleaning up in my... My garage got me another uh, light set up um, very glad that uh, my girlfriend came over this uh, past weekend and helped me get all this done she was a real big help um, I know I missed out on some of the live streams everybody was doing but um, yeah I just want to give you all a little bit of an update that uh, yeah I still got this uh, Kung Flu that's going around um, I'm doing good. I mean, not running a fever. Have been running a fever now for two weeks. No symptoms. Uh, so I got, you know, never have lost taste or smell. Um, what else? Uh, so the only thing I had was uh, a little bit of a sore throat and uh, I think maybe running maybe a hundred, I think maybe a hundred point two fever and that was about it. That's all I had. So, um, a little bit of nasal congestion, that was about it. But I think uh, I had a, uh, my right ear, uh, too much earwax and everything in there. And I finally got that all cleared out. So I think that was one reason causing the uh, nasal congestion. Um, what else? But anyways, you know, I, I'm doing good. Um, want to come out I've got a little project I'm working on uh, Saturday uh, well I'm going to my local scrap place and I got me I don't know how good this is going to show up in the camera but I don't know how, I didn't put a tape measure on it but this is a uh, just a piece of aluminum diamond plate. I have no idea what it came off of. But um, what I want to do is I've got that um, um, that wood chipper I got from Harbor Freight. And I mean it's on wheels and everything. Uh, working real good. I really like it. Um, no, the problem is I've got an area that I need to be able to take it to. So what my plan is is to take the front there's a front loop and everything on the front of it um, but it just sits on the ground to keep it all good and level well what my plan is to take that loop off of it and I'm gonna try and do is I've already cut out me a piece of the diamond plate this is uh, about a little bit over an eighth of an inch thick so it, it's pretty solid so what my plan is to do, I was trying to do this late last year, but the other piece of aluminum, I, which I've been using for my lights, I was going to use that, but it was too thin. So what I want, I got this now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill the holes. I've already got it cut because this old engine that came off of the other wood chipper, uh, it's the same bolt pattern as the Predator 212. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this all cleaned up and get my holes drilled into it. I'm not going to videotape the whole thing because it would be a little bit too noisy. Um, but what I plan is to do is get the holes drilled in this. And then I actually had, I don't know, this is something that my dad had laying around. I don't know where he came up with it. My dad had all kind. There was all kinds of stuff out here in the garage. I've been finding, but it's just a piece of aluminum. Uh, I guess U channel. So what my plan is to do, like I said, get these holes drilled in it, and what I'm gonna do is I got some of that aluminum weld. Let me get up closer so we can see it. Plan is to do is take, uh, get this put on here, get it all cleaned up. And I'm gonna aluminum weld that to it. Get that all taken, you know, you know, with the aluminum weld from Harbor Freight. 
and like I said, it'll have the holes and everything drilled in this. And the deal is, I don't know if I'll have it like that going up against the tractor, but I may, whoa, butterfingers. I may wind up having it like that. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. But uh, yeah, if I do it like that on the tractor, I'm going to have a hole right here drilled. That way I can put my pin and clip into it. Um, and what I'm, I haven't figured out yet is arms coming down off of this. Yeah, speaking of girlfriend. Um, anyway, have legs coming down off of this that can fold. Uh, basically like a little outrigger set up on it uh, I don't know if I'll have one leg that is up underneath the middle folds down like a uh, kind of like a way a trailer does or if I'll have two I don't know I haven't figured that out yet um, but anyways uh, that way I can hook it up to my uh, riding lawnmower and I can pull it to wherever I need it to be and then either leave it attached to the lawnmower or I can unhook and just let it sit there on the ground. So that's what that's what my plan is. Now, how far along I can get on that, I don't know. So I just want to give you all a little bit of an update. Um, try and get this stuff done. Oh. But um, let's see what she has to say. Oh. Uh oh. Wants to go see about playing some bingo. I'm trying to find out if she wants to go tonight or some other night. But, uh, yeah, uh, I've got my limo rods around here somewhere. I know I brought them out here. Where did I hide them at? Uh oh. There my little rod. Yep. That's the little rods I got from Harbor Freight. Alright. Like I said, I just want to do this little quick video. I may, may want to go and play bingo tonight. I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, like I said, that's just going to be my little, this little project. Like I said, I got a bunch of the tree limbs that need to get cut. Um, got some out there by the uh, little storage shed I'm building. I got a whole bunch of other trees and everything I need to get cut down, which I've got my uh, that cobalt 24-volt uh, chainsaw. Um, that is really coming in handy. Um, by the way, it's something else I found found this and I was trying to you know it says on here it's a model G 108 Grandberg file and guide okay so anyways I don't know if you can get in out I don't know if you can see that or not but anyways it's got all the degrees and everything on there and I was trying to figure out how in the hell you use this thing well what I need to do is I need to get all this rust in here all off of all that because this slides back and forth. And as you need to see it, and I didn't want to do all that good because of all the rust and everything. So I'll take my little wire wheel on, on my drill and uh, get that all cleaned up. I finally figured out how it attaches. Dally, you take your, uh, your saw blade and you have it come through here. You got a little uh thumb screw i guess you, it'll clamp down on the uh the chain and all you do is you put your uh file in this piece here you got thumb screw clamp there and right there and basically i guess you just back and you know do it one way rotate it out slide it over come back back and forth one thing i did learn is you do not go back and forth on the um the tooth because that will actually make it worse than actually sharpening it you don't want to go one direction on it so 
That's, like I said, a little something else I found out here in the garage and didn't even know about. So, anyways, I'm going to get back to working on this, and as soon as I get some progress done on it, um, I'll come back, do another video, and show you all how it's going. Till then, hit that like button, don't forget to hit subscribe, uh, leave me a comment, and don't forget to uh, hit that bell, that way you know whenever I get another video, it's getting uploaded. So, next time, I'll see y'all later. Oh, can't forget. Yeah, got Mini Mater. Mini Mater's here with me. He always got to have my help. He's always up here keeping an eye on me, making sure I'm doing this stuff correctly. Let's see if I can turn this thing. That way y'all can see where he's hiding at. That got him. I got him right up over here on the... Uh, that uh, battery charger. Oh, uh, hey. Anyways, anyways uh, like I said, yeah, y'all please do all that. Like I said, just uh, hit the uh, hit the like button, uh, subscribe, a bell, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this. All right, y'all take it easy, and I'll see y'all next time.